Hello folks, uh, I'm Pete and this is one of my weird and wonderful instruments. This is the Melodica, or more specifically this is actually a Mylodica, spelt M-Y-L-O-D-I-C-A. And um, it's a lovely little wooden Melodica which I think is quite different and also it has a higher range than, than most Melodicas I've seen uh, in that it goes up from, well it goes from here to and um, so that's um, the range of it and it's got wooden um, obviously the whole thing's wooden so it kind of has a real kind of rich sound to it and I bought it originally because I wanted to I wanted to be able to play a mouth organ or a harmonica should I say and uh, I've tried for many years and I just can't get my head around it I'm sucking and blowing it all, the, all over the place so, uh, so I really wanted to get something that would kind of do, do the sound and obviously be able to play. And I'm a keyboard player by trade, and I'd heard about these melodicas, but uh, they have a lot of bad press as being a bit of a, a toy instrument. Um, and so I did a bit more, bit more research, and I discovered this website called melodicas.com, and. You can go and check that out. That will tell you everything you could possibly need to know about melodicas, and you can also find this this mylodica, uh, which, as I say, is uh, fantastic. They describe it as having a sonic territory of its own, which I can tell you it does, because um, I've played in massive, like a massive ten-piece band with this, and although we're mic'd up, it's still easy to get lost in that massive sound, and this just really powers through. And it's also brilliant for if you're a keyboard player like I am, and you, and you can't play guitar. When you go to these kind of acoustic nights and stuff in clubs, everyone's playing guitars, and you feel a bit of a you can't do it. You can't really contribute. And this is brilliant because you can literally just tuck it under your arm, and um, and it's got a really good sound. Now I'm just going to demonstrate because um, uh, I mean Stevie Wonder is probably my favourite harmonica player of all time, but and of course there are other lots of other great players, but this is the kind of sound that I was wanting to be able to make on the mouth organ and just failing so this is the kind of thing that I like to do So um, yeah, so you could hear there. Uh, I was doing uh, a lot of kind of chromaticy things, which makes kind of the illusion of the chromatic key on the mouth organ that Stevie uses a lot further. And also, you can bend notes on this as well, which is brilliant because obviously things like the accordion and uh, other kind of reed instruments like this, you you can't really do that on. But with this. If you kind of half put the note down and then blow a little bit harder, you can get this kind of thing. That's kind of a Takes a bit of getting used to. It takes a bit of getting your head round, because you've basically got to kind of be able to hardly put the note down, but to still keep playing quite fluidly. Um, now I, I talked about walking into pubs with this. Now I don't actually do that very often with this because it's it costs about two hundred quid. <laughs> so you really really want to have one if you're going to buy one for that money. Uh, but it is lovely. It's got it's lovely wooden. Um, finish and it just plays like a, a dream the tuning is great on it and obviously you've got that extra bit of range um and that real mouth organ sound uh and obviously you don't have to do all that fancy stuff you can do you know a nice bit of uh if you like that kind of thing and also ah the other good thing about it is it comes with this rather 
horrible looking tube mouthpiece which you can put in like so and then you can have it on your knee and you can it's not it's nicely long enough it's a bit, a bit rubbish really or you can put it on a table and you can do this kind of thing So it's a, it is a um, very much a polyphonic instrument, and you can do that kind of thing. Of course, that do, that does sound rather more sort of concertina-ish, um, which is good if that's the kind of thing you want. Not something I do very often because I I'm like I say I'm using more for the harmonic kind of sound. Now next to me, I have a slightly cheaper version at around twenty-five quid or thirty quid, uh, made by Swan, um, and it looks a bit crappy this is why I so said this is where people get this idea that they're toys because they don't look awfully good to be honest um, but and and this doesn't sound this doesn't sound as good but it it uh, it is still a nice little bit of kit because like I say I, I don't mind I don't mind if beer gets poured in this or it gets trodden on or anything uh, well I'd rather it didn't but you know it's a lot less risky than taking this little this little baby out so I just want to play a little bit on this one as well this is this is quite a bit lower That's the kind of thing on this one. Obviously, you've got this lower range. This also comes complete with a uh, disgusting looking tube. And this is not long enough either. How rubbish. Uh, <laughs> and you can do this kind of thing. Is very accordion, isn't it? Uh... But you know, that's just another. That's the great thing about it. It is quite versatile, and um, I mean, if you do this kind of thing with it. Uh, It does sound like a Bon Tempe organ, which is not ideal. But um, but if you are a keyboard player with uh, with a, you know a little bit of skill, uh, you can get some really good results. And this is like I say, twenty five quid for this little thing. Um, you get a quite a big sound from it, and you can be you know you can have a quite sensitive you know. So it's, you do have a, a real range, and um, so I, I can't I can't recommend them highly enough. So unless you un, you, you can either go for this this two hundred pound baby here, which is lovely, or you can go dead cheap and just start from scratch. And there's there's all there's, there's different ranges. There's um, probably the most popular one is the thirty seven note model, which is this kind of thing, and then you get the bass ones and and this one, which is kind of the soprano one. Um, and they're just brilliant for you know sticking in the back of the car or whatever and just uh, having to play. The only downside of them is you can't sing, of course, because you've got your mouth full. Um, so maybe they could invent a nose one or something like that. I don't know. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it, folks. Um, so check out melodicas.com. You can get these kind of cheaper ones on eBay or you know um, Amazon and all those places. So I would recommend it if you can play keyboard or even if you can't, if you want to, I mean that's another thing, you can you can actually use them in the way that they have been used for a long time in schools as just a little starter keyboard. I mean, um, it's a proper working 
keyboard without uh, need for power, of course. So, um, you know, you're not going to get much of a cheaper thing than that, are you? So, yep, go for folks, buy melodicas, and, uh, uh, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.